Hey there folks, welcome back for day 15 of the 30 Days of Banjo, and what you just heard is the completed version of Cripple Creek, or at least the first half of it. Hopefully you noticed that I included the pull-off lick from yesterday, and now we have the completed version, which is pretty much what Earl Scruggs played in his version from Foggy Mountain Banjo. So let's go over that. The first half, the first two measures, is just what we've been playing already, like this. Then we've got our slide lick, and then our pull-off lick in one measure, like this. Followed by our hammer-on lick. That whole second half sounds like this. What you might notice from this point on is that a lot of the things we're gonna play can be looked at as stringing together individual licks. That isn't necessarily how it always sounds, and it more often sounds more like a melody, but in terms of just organizing the information in your brain, that can actually work pretty well. So nothing really too new here, just taking something we already know and putting it in a place we haven't played it yet. So here's a slowed down version with a little bit of a closer view. Okay, so your homework for this lesson is to practice this version of Cripple Creek and get really comfortable with it if you can, because what we look at tomorrow is just going to benefit from as much work as you put into it. Also, keep working and boil that cabbage down, which hopefully by now is starting to feel a little bit more comfortable. Challenge yourself and see if you can play the entirety of it by memory. And by the way, your featured banjo player for this lesson is Wes Corbett. Wes is a great banjo player known for playing with bands like Joy Kill Sorrow and now the Sam Bush Band. And he's a great example of modern banjo players using a lot of different techniques to play a lot of interesting things in both bluegrass and other styles of music. One of my favorite albums that he has is with a hammered dulcimer player named Simon Chrisman. So, hope you enjoy tracks from that album and others in the playlist that I've put down in the description. By the way, if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel and like this video. That's a huge thing that you can do to help me make more of these videos. So if you do that, I really appreciate it. Anyway, that's all for today. I'll see you again tomorrow for day 16 of the 30 Days of Banjo.